course, I get called up for my, hi, I'm Shaikh Samad. Uh, of course, I get called up for my feature as I'm trying to sneak off to the bathroom, right? <laughs> yeah. I had that whole round to get up and go back there, but no. It's fine, we're gonna get through it. Um, I'm enjoying myself here in Tucson. We had a good time with the workshop, at least I know that I did. Uh, we had a good time in the workshop earlier, and quite a few participants still hanging out. Got some writing done, got inspired. So I'm just gonna lead in with this piece. Uh, it's called TV. You see, we've got all these pictures flying through the air. And they're sending us these messages, these suggestions, all these unanswered questions are affecting us subliminally. And you look at your screen and call it TV. But I see how modern history is being rewritten just so that it fits inside a 30 second sound bites. And is that right? Not quite. But is it life? Yes, I guess it's life when life gets sliced, diced, politically corrected, and redressed, but undressed, aha, yes. There is a little man behind the curtain. Hold him suspect. Is he ever as much obsessed with finding the truth as you or I, my poets? I think not. You see, we've got all these pictures flying through the air, sending us these messages, suggestions, these unanswered questions are affecting us subliminally, supposedly controlling we, the unenlightened, closed-minded stepchildren of liberty. And you look at your screen, screaming, blasphemy, observe it mindlessly, devour it hungrily, small screen, gluttony, suckling midwives to be to poison tongues, fall silent. First, second, and third eye blind, it makes it easier to sleep. So sleep deep, sleep slumber, no wonder consciousness, don't bother me right now, I'm just trying to watch a basketball game. Goes dribble, dribble, pass, dribble, shoot. Dribble, dribble, pass, dribble, shoot. Dribble, dribble, pass, collect my loot. Dribble, get some ass, then where's my loot? Simple people's past just won't compute. And there are many living fast who just won't live through. Many living robbed of their youth. Many living blind to all truth. Many living sleeping, dreaming, fast asleep in front of the TV. Here we are in modern America, 2011 in our living rooms, in our lazy boys, head nodding, poison drool oozing from our dead, sick and silent tongues until poets come to wake us. Enter knowledge! Poets creeping in on your sleeping ass and slapping your awake is not a single thing you've ever seen in your TV screen is real. All of it is fake. Mass manufactured and politicized. These mental multivitamins. These formulated newscasts that are designed to make horror easier to swallow. So while you wallow in contentment, Mr. and Mrs. Middle America, turn to the back page of the book, baby, and solve the riddle, America. Your second coming has not yet been sent, or at least that much should have been evident when our second graders, they started busting caps on their own classmates. And I bet you watched that shit on the news and not a single thing inside of you truly moved. The little man behind the curtain is pleased. The applause sign is lit, and the audience agrees. The truth has been reformulated to hurt less, and somewhere there are archaeologists reading Shakespeare to mummies, dummies, TV.